Hey everybody! So we're live now with Priska. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, let's go over here. Evok, Evok Chakas, Evok, Evok Kav just joined. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so um, yeah, we just finished shooting an interview with Priska. <laughs> uh, for Amy Lou Presents, it's airing later this summer, and but right now we're gonna do a short Q and A with her, and she's gonna sing a little a little bit at the end. So stick around. So Priska actually is an amazingly talented singer songwriter. She's been playing the piano since she was four years old. So uh, tell us a little bit about Priska, the name behind it. And so Priska is actually the nickname that my mom used to call me when I was a kid. Uh, she got it out of the name book, but. You know, I felt like nothing was more honest and more true than what your mom calls you, you know, when she's angry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flip the camera, actually, to, so we can see the both of us. Okay. Okay. And um, so the second question is, mm -hmm. the music and your lyrics that you have are very emotional, expressive. Tell us about the stories behind your music, what inspires it, and also describe a little bit about your music for those of us who haven't heard it before. So I'm basically like a super emotional person and if I didn't write music, my friends would go crazy. Um, but you know, basically I love writing about heartbreak and, and just what it's like to be a human and, and just how short everything feels. Hey, how's it going, Amy? Oh, hey, um, Amy Lupa, hi. Oh my God, my, my yay, name's Wayne. Hi, Amy. I know, <laughs> um, and so, you know, the music is kind of like le uh, vocally led, um, you know, pretty, pretty big strong vocals um set to just kind of like really emotional lyrics that's like kind of what it sounds like that's what it that's what it is so if you were to say the top three inspirations for mm -hmm. your music what would they be um musical inspirations i think a huge one is uh tristan prettyman she's one of my all-time heroes and then um sarah Bareilles and jason mraz three huge musical influences in my life what about personal experiences? Top three personal experiences that inspire your music? You know, we're always going through things that can kind of be developed into music, but I think, you know, things like my dad being a pastor and being um, just kind of very motivated to seek kind of internal and um, uh, like kind of seek out your internal journey and kind of like what your purpose is, I think that helps a lot in, in terms of storytelling and songwriting. Uh, and yeah, I think, you know, just being bullied um, as, a, as a younger adolescent, I think helps me uh, internalize a lot of things and, and go inward and, and try to discover what the heck was going on in here. Mm -hmm. I think that your music really inspires all of us oh. um, and your experiences, you know, we, um, excuse me, weaving in your experiences into your music is really inspirational <clears throat> and it inspires all of us to create, be creative. And Thanks, girl. Look at this. Look at this girl. <laughs> Look at this girl. Yeah. Um, you have a new song out called Fly the Coop. So tell yep. us about it. Um, so if any of you have been in a relationship that you just felt was not good for you, but you felt trapped in it, a lot of times it seems like it's easier to be stuck in that relationship um, than it is to actually do something and like get out of it. And I completely know where you're coming from, but let me tell you, it's worth it. It's worth it to fight for yourself. It's worth it to love yourself. Um, and so that's exactly what that song is about. Yeah. And you have a new love in your life, huh? I have, uh, <laughs> yeah. Just There's a silver a, lining. Everything happens for a reason. There you go. I have a long time boyfriend. Um, he's amazing. And, um, and he, you know, I think it, it really Shout proved, out to Abraham. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> it really kind of proved that, you know, it's, it's worth fighting for the love that you want in your life. And, um, and really the, the person you're with kind of shows, um, a mirror of how you, care about yourself and how you feel about yourself um, and if the person in your life you know whoever they may be if they're treating you poorly and you're okay with it you know that's you know that's something you've got to just kind of examine on your own you know that's something just to think about so mm -hmm. um, don't be afraid to ask those hard questions mm -hmm. yeah so Prisca challenges you all to <sighs> dig deep <laughs> um, now, uh, Friska is actually going to sing a short little acapella of Fly the Coop, so I'm going to flip the camera and <laughs> aim it towards her. Okay, only for you, Amy. Okay. okay. All right, so here's the chorus of Fly the Coop. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, just this time with us. You guys have been really awesome. <clears throat> so, here we go. Tonight I fly the coop, catch me if you can. I'm running toward the boundary line, knowing I still can. And though I feel you closing in, I give it all I have. Cause I know there's more for me. Wow, that was 
amazing. Thanks, Amy. Look at her voice. My <laughs> God, I got chills right now. <laughs> so thanks so much, Prisca, for spending some time with us. Thanks for having her, me. <laughs> her interview on Amy Lou Presents is going to be posted in on YouTube and social media later this summer, so check that out. And Prisca, you might be releasing an EP later this year. Tell us about that. Hopefully later in 2016. You guys stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Follow her on social What's yeah, your handle? Follow me. It's Priska Music. Priska with a K, Music with a K. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere you can find people, you can find me. Awesome. So check her out. And thank you so much for spending some time with us, like Priska said. And we'll see you next time. See you guys next time. Thanks for coming and watching.